In Top Topic, we look at one of the biggest stories making news online here in China over the last 24 hours. A Chinese shipyard has formed a panel and upgraded its facilities to prepare for the construction of a replica of the Titanic for an Australian billionaire. According to the state-owned CSC, Jinling Shipyard Company in Nanjing, Jiangsu, it will take three years to build that luxury liner. The shipyard signed an agreement to build the liner in April with the Australian mining billionaire Clive Palmer. The world's leading shipyards and ship design companies, including Finland's Delta Marine, have been invited to join the construction work of Titanic II, said Li Wenbao, spokesman for the shipyard. The liner will be equipped with advanced technologies, including the latest life-saving and communication systems to meet the requirements of modern navigation, Li said. He added that the formal construction contract has yet to be signed between the shipyard and Blue Star Line, subsidiary of Palmer's mineralogical company. The 270-meter long and 53-meter highliner will have nine floors and 840 rooms as well as be equipped with deluxe cabins, gymnasiums, swimming pools, and libraries. The shipyard said about 900 crew members and 2,400 passengers will get to travel on that liner's maiden voyage scheduled for 2016. It will sail from England to North America, just like the original Titanic's planned route. The story of Titanic has been well known in China ever since 1997, when the James Cameron movie was shown across the country. On April 15, 1912, the historic Titanic sank off Newfoundland after hitting an iceberg on its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York. The accident claimed the lives of 1,500 people. The Blue Star Line held a news conference in Hong Kong on Saturday Introducing the construction work of Titanic II and related promotional activities. Jinling Shipyard, founded in 1952, is a major shipbuilder with about 3,000 employees and makes vessels for many countries. Lee added that promotional activities will be held in other cities such as Macau and London. With this feat, China truly will be able to say, I'm the king of the world. What do you think about China building a Titanic 2? That's our poll for today. 37% said, I wouldn't take the ship's maiden voyage. Who knows what will happen this time? Next, 19% said, Made in China plus the name Titanic equals a ticket to hell. And C, 44% people said, I am very proud that China could take on such a big project. I believe this Made in China ship will have a safe maiden voyage and will function like other big ships from then on. Next on Media Watch, we look at the name in the news.